What's up? Mark Henninger from Sound and Vision here at CDF 2024, and I am here with Chuck Back from Trinov. And they have this rather impressive demo, which I did just before the show opened on press night. The smoothest, deepest, just most luxurious, I would call it, sound. And a Epicurean would truly enjoy hearing this. And it is the last such demo at CDS, so it's rarity. I mean, well, anyway, so that's what you guys are doing here, yep. really setting a standard. And tell yep. me about how this came together and kind well, of impressions you guys. Yeah, we've got six partners here, actually, and we really have put together the best of the best in the industry with the intention of showing uh, the attendees at Cedia the level of performance that can be achieved with the greatest private cinemas. So we have uh, Officina Acoustica that designed and built the room, which gives us the proper acoustical environment in isolation from sounds on the floor. Uh, projector is a Barco Nurthus, which has incredible uh, intensity of light. It is capable of true high HDR reproduction in a projector. Uh, we're using a Seymour screen, uh, acoustically transparent. Uh, per listen loudspeakers, which are doing a fabulous job for us. Uh, combining the delicacy and the detail of a hi-fi system, a good stereo hi-fi system, with the power and intensity of uh, home theater, which is the overall theme of this actual booth. I heard that with the music. And you know, because I also work with Stereophile, I go to the two channel right. shows, I hear the killer systems, and I was just thinking that in there. I'm like, this amount of refinement is, is what the audiophiles are looking right. for, and you're achieving in this room, right, because you've got all the ingredients to do it. But, exactly. But usually in home theater, right, it's, 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 basically they don't figure it out for music. Right. You know? Yeah, it, there's a sense that there's one set of reproduction for home theater, one for music, and a, a properly designed system will do both well. Yeah. Um, we're also using a MAD VR processor to enhance the, uh, the picture, to get the, the best possible picture quality, which is being delivered as a source from Kaleidoscape, which is the standard for those who want the closest to uh, the purest reproduction of movies far better quality than you get with streaming, for example. And then, of course, the Trinov processing is responsible for the overall sound quality. Uh, we're using our optimizer, uh, which is the most advanced speaker and room correction system. But what's setting it apart this year is the new release of waveforming, which is our technology that uses multiple subwoofers to eliminate in the best condition and in almost any reasonable condition, significantly reduce the effect of standing waves in rooms, which has been the biggest challenge in home theaters in stereos forever, uh, because it's difficult to reproduce baseball in small rooms. Waveforming uses multiple subs. Uh, some are mounted in the front wall or the front of the room, some in the back wall or the back of the room. And with our algorithm, uh, the front subs create uh, an ideal situation, a planar way that is directed away from the walls, floor, and ceiling and towards the seats. The back subs then absorb the wave of sound that arrives at the back of the room. All of this eliminates the creation of standing waves. And what we get as a result is much smoother uh, bass response, much smoother perception because the, uh, the decay of sound is much quicker. What you don't have is that boominess where the bass tends to remain in the room. Uh, we also have much more impact. Uh, bass, uh, bass drum kicks are harder. Shotgun blasts hitch in the chest better. And what is perhaps most remarkable is that we get seat to seat consistency. So if you have 18 seats as we have here, the consistency of bass response is within two decibels among 18 seats, which has been previously uh, essentially impossible to yeah, achieve. Yeah, unachievable, and, and yeah. I did notice that, that what the bass has is a lot of texture to it, yeah. and so you, you get different feelings, and even in infrasonics, uh, you get different textures, yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and, and it mimics the sensation that, that, that they're trying to... Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's because the decay time is so, is so much quicker. You don't have the sound lingering, so you hear details. You hear more subtle details, you hear little dynamic differences in the bass. Yeah. And uh, what is exciting is now that waveforming is available to anyone with a Trinov processor. And while we're using 14 subwoofers in this room, it can be done with as few as four. 
any system that has two subwoofers placed in the front of the room and two subwoofers placed in the back of the room can implement waveforming and the performance improvement will be significant. So it's not something that's just for the ultra wealthy, it's something for anyone with a good high performance system and the ability to place four subwoofers. And it's a revolution in low frequency performance. Very cool. We're having a great time here at the show. Uh, we've had a packed house uh, from before the show starts until after the show closes. And uh, it's just been a great time here in, uh, in Denver. I bet. Yeah, one thing I wanted to comment on about the, the whole room is it's really like the, maybe the only legit home theater, like, like that, that this yeah. is actually a home theater here, the product. And that, that the fascinating thing is that the demos are going on. They achieved, what, 120 decibels? It didn't yeah. feel like it, didn't sound like yeah. it because it's so low distortion. But outside, silence. And all you hear is the rest of the show. You hear sound leaking right. out of all the other demos, but not a, not even a drop. Yeah. And I was just thinking, that sort of proves what they're saying, which is that it's completely controlling the sound, right. the, the space. And so, yeah, you're, you're, what you have done here, as far as I'm concerned, is show the capability of your gear and the gear that is associated yeah. with it. And, and that really is the point. It's not all about putting the right ingredients in. It's about making the package. It's yes. one of the analogies we use is uh, you can have great ingredients, but you really need a great chef to put it all together. Absolutely. And in this case, we have six companies that make the great ingredients, and we all work as chefs to make this great experience for the showgoers here. Italian restaurants are proof of that. Yes. Yeah.